This is Fancy Kairos, my skin locked account where I can only play brawlers if they have a skin. My goal is to reach masters in ranked, but I'm not allowed to spend any money on the account and I have to do it all with randoms. And for this episode, I have to do it with this neck brace. I'll be fine. I slept weird. That's why I have to wear this neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'll be fine. But additionally, progression is going to be restricted depending on the rarity of the skins that I have for my brawlers and how many skins I have unlocked for them as well. So progression is slower, matches are harder, and skins matter a lot. Today is day 15, and this is a very exciting day for every brand new account. We have the countdown right over here for choosing between Edgar and Griff, and this is surprisingly a very hard well, it's not a hard choice for me. I wish it wasn't this hard, okay? I wanna go for Griff. I love playing Griff. Griff is one of my favorite brawlers. However, I have to choose Edgar. <laughs> right now with angelic star drops in the game, there is a small, even if it's just a small chance, there is a chance for me to unlock Angel Edgar or any of his skin color variations. That would be my very first hypercharged skin and my only chance at a hypercharged skin for the moment. And hypercharged skins are one of the two options that I have to actually be able to just max out a brawler right off the bat without any additional extra skins. Which if you missed the last episode, make sure you guys check it out right there. There was a good discussion that went on and after a lot of feedback from my viewers, we decided that extra skins on a brawler would allow for one additional power level beyond what their best skin rarity actually is. This should make progression a little bit smoother without actually eliminating the difficulty of this challenge. Anyway, as much as it pains me to do this, we gotta go with Edgar. So we're gonna do it. Edgar is unlocked. By the way, a lot of people, I would recommend choosing Edgar as your, your unlock here. It's just the fact that I love playing Griff so much. I just I just really enjoy him. I don't know what it is about him. He's got that piggy bank. He's got the free healing every two seconds. He can break walls. He can shotgun assassins. It's just, I just really like him. And now that we have Angel Edgar unlocked, now I'm going to be opening up this free angelic star drop. I've been hanging on to this, um, hoping that, it, okay. Never mind. <laughs> we did get free uh, five credits in the freebie though, that's nice. Now this episode, we got a couple of things we really wanna do. First up, contests. I want to get first every single time that I possibly can. So I finally have figured out how matchmaking actually works for these uh, contests, how it works. It's based off of your top 10 brawlers total trophy counts uh, added all together and makes you match up against other people that have similar total trophy counts for your top 10 brawlers. Um, so, where I'm on a brand new account here, this should actually be very easy. Don't ask me, dude, what's this guy doing? <laughs> okay, just give me a hug there. Uh, I have no idea how I like how the first contest was so difficult for me. It was so hard, way harder than on my main account where I actually have like a, a fair number of trophies. So anyway, it's just kind of interesting, but it has proven to be pretty accurate, at least for um, this contest. I shouldn't even need to worry about that. This contest has been significantly easier. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that Trio Showdown is just more difficult for me to carry people in than Siege. Siege is one of those game modes that most people typically tend to struggle with. I don't know what it is about Siege for me specifically. I love the game mode. It's always been one of my better game modes. I don't know what it is about it. I just like understand how it works. Okay, there's our second victory. So this has us tied with first place. We still have three tickets available. I want to be as nice as I can be. I really genuinely do. Cause right now I have those 20 star drops, but there are some people here that could cheat it out of us. The problem is, is that the contest ends when I'm in bed in a sleep. I have no idea what these people here with 12 and 14 tickets are going to do. Like you want to be nice, but you don't want being nice to bite you in the butt. My next goal in this episode is to focus on upgrading my brawlers so that I can actually start playing ranked probably in the next episode. Um, and you know what? The nice thing is we are able to do more quests than I thought because we actually have a lot of brawlers with skins. I just have them sort by power level. Uh, we'll remove the quest right here. And every brawler that is power two or higher has a skin that I can actually play. So with 11 out of 21 brawlers, the chances of us having a quest um, that actually has at least one brawler that I can actually play is really high at the moment. Eventually, it will become a lot more difficult, especially because these quests that give you three different brawler options will almost always have one brawler that has low trophies. And my brawlers that will be at zero trophies are obviously going to be the ones that uh, don't have skins because I can't upgrade them, I can't play them. So we've got a lot to do. Oh, check it out. We got Rebirth. Okay. That 
that's pretty good, actually. Today is day 16. We've got a couple really exciting things going on. First thing, neck braces off. <laughs> Oh man, feels so much better, but uh, I don't know, I'm still a little stiff. I need to exercise more, that's what I gotta do. But uh, we got angels today, and more important, contest over! I did a bad thing. I just couldn't. I couldn't risk it. I went and I got extra wins, and looks like I didn't need to. I screwed two people out over three additional star drops. I just couldn't risk it, okay? It was just too much of a concern for me. That's okay though. Today we are going to be selecting the best rewards. Oh, I got 15 wins. I didn't lose a single one. That's really great. But we're gonna be choosing the angelic drops because I actually have all of the skins that I can get from demonic drops so far. And that's because I don't have Willow, Otis, Colette, RT, Draco, Chuck, or Mortis even unlocked on the account. But I do have Gene, Colt, and Edgar who can receive a skin. So very good chance of me getting at least one skin from these 20 drops. Terms of service? Oh no, I don't even know what I'm looking at, but that's fine. I'm going to be playing this game for a long time, so I better be prepared to accept their terms of service, I guess. Anyway, 20 star drops here. Let's go. Oh, is this level three? Oh, it's a level three. Oh, I was just watching me a new brawler. Ah! <laughs> the game cut out. I don't know what it was. What is it? I don't know what it was. <laughs> it cheated me out of knowing what the... What the what the reward was. It could be a new brawler. It could be a hypercharge. It could be a star power, a gadget. It could be anything. That is really funny. Um, except that it's really not 250 bling. That is great. That is really good. We are getting good amounts of bling here from these. Oh, we're up to 350 bling for this. These contests, I'll tell you what, I know that they are a pain, but at the same time, the potential rewards is just so good. So good. Oh, we're up to 450 bling from these. That is so nice. Okay. Oh, 550 bling. Keep giving me bling. Okay, I'll take the coins too. 650 bling. Okay, here's a level two. Probably gonna be a spray or a pin. Oh, a oh, hundred credits going towards Daryl. That is so good. I just I I I want to know so bad what it was. Okay, here's level two. More credits? <laughs> okay. Blessed barrier. Cool. I might end up using that. Okay, now I have to figure out what that was. It was Larry and Laurie. <laughs> oh, I can't get their skin. Their skin is actually locked behind the season. So um, I was thinking that could be another brawler that I could actually potentially unlock from the boxes, but there's just no way for me to be able to get them. I can't spend money to buy this, this brawl pass. I am really glad though that I didn't have to like scour all of my brawlers to figure out what the reward was. Okay, Larry and Laurie do not have great potential. I mean, there's a mythic star drop that I could get, actually get from rank star drop. So there's potential eventually. There's a lot of stuff going on right here and it's pretty fun and exciting here. Now, interestingly, this today's contest is one that I didn't practice uh, very much. At least not on this account. I don't know how I'm going to compete well on this one. Soul Collector is just strange. I think that my best bet is going to be going with Penny. Probably not going to do as well in this contest as the last contest, but we'll see. Thankfully today we got five free credits from Daryl. Let's just unlock that him really quickly. I've got some uh, credits right there. That will be very nice. Thank you. Daryl is now unlocked. That unlocks the potential of earning some additional skins and stuff like that and eventually using him. Now we start choosing an epic brawler to unlock. And I think we're going to go with Pam. And the reason for that is that Pam has a legendary skin. Evil Queen Pam. Yeah, I don't have the gems for it, but there's a chance that it might go on sale and there may be an option for me to eventually be able to purchase her um, at a discounted price with my gems. We'll have to wait and see, though. Legendary skin. I don't know. The choice between Pam and Stu, who also has a legendary skin, is... Uh, a little bit of a, like, they're both good brawlers, you know? I could go either way. I want to talk about why bling is such a big deal. Let's do that while I try and gain some wins in this map. I want to talk about bling and why I'm actually saving it. Bling is an incredibly scarce resource that is inc just has the most impact on this account. Bling can be used to do uh, several different things, okay? Obviously, I can save up 5,000 bling to purchase an epic skin. That would allow me to get a brawler up to power nine. And then... I could use bling to then purchase two additional skins in order for me to get that brawler from power nine up to power 11 max level and actually have a competitive option in ranked. But here's the thing. I can't just go buying 
a ton of rare skins for brawlers because the vast majority of brawlers only actually have just one rare skin available. There are some brawlers like Colt or Dynamite that have some rare skins, like their football or soccer variant variants. However, those are actually not available to me to be purchase on this account right now. Those were only available during limited special events and I cannot purchase them unless they come back on sale for some reason or another. So most brawlers only have one rare skin in order for me to be able to purchase and not all brawlers actually have a rare, super rare, and epic skin. So using this bling is actually incredibly useful and important for me to be able to actually get a good solid roster to compete in ranked. I'm not quite ready yet to make a decision on how I'm going to spend my bling in order to like best maximize progression on this account. However, I know that there is going to be a day where there's a specific brawler that I really, really want to be maxed out in order for me to be able to really push in ranked. And bling is going to be the only way for me to be able to actually make that happen. Unless I go for true gold and true silver skins, but that costs 10,000 coins for the true silver skin, and then an additional 25,000 coins for the true gold skin. They're incredibly expensive, and I'm just nowhere near the point where that would actually make a lot of sense, especially because I don't even have enough coins or power points to get my brawlers all the way up to the max level that I can get them based off of their skins that I have for them. Also, side note, I ended up actually swapping from Penny onto Shelly, and the reason why is because I ended up facing off against a lot of Kenjis and Mortises and other like assassin type brawlers where Penny actually does struggle a little bit against, and Shelly is a great counter against them. Additionally, I actually swapped off of her Shell Shock star power and gave her her Band-Aid star power for some additional healing when necessary, and I also have the Rebirth ability, which is the Angelic ability that makes it so that you will survive with one HP left over. And with those two options, I actually am incredibly tanky and have a lot of survivability as Shelly, which allows me to extend her into enemy territory to pick up the souls and get away just fine. In the end, I was able to get four out of five wins. And you know what? I think that that's probably going to be the way that I uh, continue to play for this specific map and mode, at least. Day 17, we've got a tier three star drop here. I mean, it can't be a skin. So it could be a fat sack of bling. It could be a new brawler. Oh, it's Bell. It's <laughs> okay. You know what? I actually really like playing Bell. I like her a lot. I would not hate having her leveled up so I could use her in ranked. Uh, okay, I just barely got Ems' um, gadget, Acid Spray. I didn't even know that you could get gadgets from the tier two star drops, so I haven't been showing those tier two star drops, but I think that I need to start showing them because clearly you can get some good stuff from them. Um, also, I just got Shelly to tier 50. First time ever. I've been playing Solo Showdown, um, the one map that I know that there are very few teamers. It's just very unlikely that you're actually going to see any teamers. and. Uh, uh, it's been a mixture of kind of bush camping and just playing incredibly carefully. This is a replay here, which is why I actually don't know that there's a Piper right there. My goal is to get her to 1,000 total trophies and hopefully get her to 1,100 total trophies. Um, that would be really nice. I don't actually have time to do it today, but I, and I know that Feast or Famine is going to be coming back, so I've, I'm going to try and get her to 1,000 trophies right now. now. I know some of you guys out there are going to say, Kairos, you're going to get your first brawler to 1,000 trophies by camping in a bush. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet, skill-wise, for me to be able to get my brawlers up higher. Um, please don't hit me. Okay, thank you. I, I'm just not quite there yet. This is all about me getting better at the game, and this is how I know how to push Shelly. I know that I can do this with enough patience and a uh, little bit of skill as well. I mean, let's not forget here, I am playing against people that are near 1,000 total trophies on their brawler, so it's not easy. Everybody else is clearly doing the same thing because look, there's still 10 brawlers left and I've been chatting for what, like 30 seconds here? I will have some losses and some deaths, um, but the hope is that I'll be able to Come on. Okay, perfect. See, just like that. See, outplay that Shelly. I mean, she didn't know that I was there, but I knew she was there, right? And so anyway, that's the whole point here. A massive part of this series is going to be pushing brawlers um, where I know those brawlers are actually going to be good. And, <laughs> um, and this is one of the best ways for me with my skill level to be able to push her up. And I want to get that trophy box. So yes, I'm going to be doing this. And I'm just going to literally just wait right here. Surely more people will come out of their bushes. Okay, perfect. There's a Shelly near the center. She's attacking somebody back there. Ah. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, I got it first. I got first place. 
Oh, yes! See what I mean here? I'm playing against other Shellys doing the same thing, beating out Shellys with more power cubes than me. So, I'm pretty happy with this. We just gotta get one more win. And we're facing off against a bunch of other bush campers. Let's go over and grab this box here at least. Uh, a key part of this really is patience. There's a Frank right in that bush over there, and this kit doesn't know that I'm here, but... Like, if I engage, it's just more likely that I'm gonna die. See exactly if that happens. The kit goes away, he's hiding in, he's using his invisibility ability. Okay, we're gonna come down here. Can almost guarantee you that that kit is down in that bush. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a Leon. Come on. Okay. Oh, Frank just opens that up. I am A-OK -okay with that. Okay, we're top four. That's excellent. I'm going to use this gadget to charge up a little bit. Okay, we've got... Oh! <laughs> you know what? I'm so good with that. So good with that. Yes! <laughs> Wait, it just gave me plus eight season trophies? Did it really? Okay, it gave me plus two. Dude, yes! Oh, that is so exciting! Day 17. On one brawler, I have maxed here. That is so, so hype. I really wish that I had more time to push today, but I'm quickly running out of time and I still need to use my tickets here. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Man, this game mode is particularly difficult to uh, carry people in because my teammates keep dying. And even if I don't die, it's just a matter of time before my teammates die and give them all the points that they need to win. You know what I mean? Like, it's really hard. Oh, dude. I had one death here, and we're about to lose. Let's see, oh man, star player, five kills, one death, and we lose. But we were able to pull ahead and grab enough victories to solidify. Ah, I think solidify a number one place. It says that I'm fourth, but now it's moved me up to uh, number one. Cool, that's good. I almost forgot. Uh, there was a maintenance, and there were some issues and bug fixes, and so they gave us some free demonic and angelic star drops. So let's go ahead and open these up here, see what they are. There's a level two. Could be a gadget. Learned that today. Okay, it's whatever that thing was. And uh, just uh, some resources. Cool. Let's see if we get anything better from the angelic pins. Um, probably, oh, some coins. I will happily take that. Thank you. Oh, some more coins. Give me more coins, more coins, more coins. Oh, yes. 300 coins, just like that. Today's day 19th. We're going to be choosing the angels, obviously, um, because then we can get some additional uh, better reward or some skins. Uh, anyway. We tied for number one, and that's awesome. So we're gonna choose our 20 angelic drops here. We have three skins that we can possibly get. I guess also um, color, skin color variations of the Edgars would count technically, but I don't know. Chances are a decent that we might actually get a skin today. Oh, some bling, that is so nice. Oh my gosh, 200 bling from this so far. This is great. 300 bling, thank you. And this is gonna be some spray or pin that I don't really, oh, 200 coins. These are fantastic. Oh, man. Seriously. Okay, tier two. More coins? More bling? Nope, there's the, there's the spray I was talking about. And this was the right time to create this account. The amount of cosmetics that I've been getting for this is just, the progression has just been so good. At least for this specific account. Seriously, could have been the best uh, actual, like, season. Oh my gosh. Could actually be the best season for me to have started this. Another tier two. I haven't seen a tier three today. Really hoping for a tier three. We're probably about done here. And that was it. But we did get all of the angelic abilities. So that's kind of cool. Um, we'll go ahead and continue there. And I'm just going to keep on working on these contests. I really want to like start upgrading my brawlers and start doing ranked, but I just haven't had the time to. And we're still building up some of the resources to upgrade the brawlers up to that level in the first place. So I'm just going to keep on grinding the resources. Today is day 22. It's a good day because the contest is over. And... I got first, which means I get to choose a lot of angelic star drops due to the fact that we still have the Gene Colt and possibly Edgar skins available for me to unlock. So I'm gonna open these up, show you the tier twos or better. Here's a tier two, third drop here. Okay, I'll take it. Another tier two, gadget. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Rico is unlocked. I mean, he's not actually unlocked. He is still locked. This is skin locked and he doesn't have a skin, but that's exciting. I didn't actually know that you could. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so great. Oh, my gosh. That is awesome. Woo. We've got to talk about Colt. Okay, we'll, we'll get back to this here. I'm going to equip that now. Oh, yes. Okay. I was going to say that I didn't, I don't actually, oh, come on. Come on, tier two. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, what I was going to say is I didn't know you could unlock a new brawler from, oh, 200 fling from a tier two star drop. 200 fling, that is so good. People were making fun of me uh, the previous episode for getting so excited about bling, but I don't think you guys recognize how good bling is on this account. And I'm getting so much more bling than I expected possible simply because of this special event that's going on. It is just massive. Another tier two. Dude, give me 200 bling. Oh, silver bullet gadget. This is good. This is really, really good. We have like so many things to, to talk about and do here. Okay. First of all, let's take a what, uh, what kind of skin is this? This is an epic. And then we also have this skin and we have this skin. So base level is power nine. Then we get two additional potential levels from these other two skins. That means Colt is able to get up to power 11. A lot of people also pointed out the fact that uh, Shelly is also able to because I have a mythic or a, yeah, mythic and then also one additional skin. Believe me, I, I didn't forget that. I just didn't mention it in the video. I actually did. And then I was cutting down the video and it didn't seem quite as important for me to include it. The video was almost 40 minutes long, guys. I had to get rid of some of the fluff. I'm regretting cutting some of the stuff out because it seems like you guys comment on everything that I cut out, including why I had not actually upgraded Shelly to power 11 just yet. Yes, I do have enough resources to get Shelly to power 11, but the problem is, is that I have so many brawlers that I need to upgrade and not enough power points. If I upgrade Shelly, I won't be able to upgrade Colt to power 11, but I also have upgrades, including some gadgets and stuff like that on Bo, Ems, Frank, Penny, and Gus. Tons of upgrades to do, but I only need three brawlers to go into ranked. And I've been super busy the past week or so. I have not been able to come up with my plan for ranked. So that is going to be the next episode where we will, I will come up with my plan. I will upgrade brawlers and I'm going to actually do my first push in ranked. There's still more to cover this episode though. When the rules were expanded to include extra skins, increasing the power levels, a lot of you guys had honestly some really good feedback. I knew that not everybody would love the change, but it seems like most people really did love it. There is one piece of feedback though that I wanted to address. I have swapped over to my main account so you can take a look at Colt, okay? Here's the deal with Colt. He has a lot of rare skins, specifically because of all of these like football ones, right? There were plenty of people that said, hey, this just makes it way too easy because you could just get five rare skins on a brawler to get them up to power 11. That would only cost 5,000 bling, which that's how much it would normally cost an epic skin. So that just eliminates the usefulness of epic skins and all the other skins in the game, right? I actually considered this. I talked about it and then I deleted the clip. I regret deleting the clip because I want to show you guys why that's not actually accurate. This is Colt on my skin locked account, which is new. Guess what? I don't have access to those football skins. And so really like I can't do that. Now Colt is an interesting brawler because Colt is actually one of very few brawlers who do have more than one rare skins, right? Outlaw Colt and Rockstar Colt. But most brawlers, let's take a look at Rico here. Rico has Red Jacket Rico. That is his one rare skin that I am able to purchase because a lot of those rare skins are locked behind special events that have come and gone and I cannot purchase them on this account. So if I want to max out a brawler, get him to power 11 with bling. If we take Rico as an example, here's what we have to do. We have to get an epic skin, which will cost 5,000 bling. Then we have to also purchase a super rare skin, which will cost 2,750 bling. And then we also have to purchase a rare skin, which will cost 1,000 bling. That comes to a total of 8,700 bling, which is a lot of bling. And yes, it does make it more likely and easier for me to be able to get a brawler to power 11, but that's just for one brawler. And that's kind of the point of the series is where like, yes, I am going to have to work really, really hard to get a core group of brawlers in order for me to go to ranked because guess what? 
while three brawlers are required for ranked right here, in order for me to even get to masters, I have to have 12 brawlers available. And you better believe that, like, I'm gonna need some decent options because here's something else that I think a lot of people did not consider. You know how Supercell releases brand new brawlers and they're just like super strong and broken and would obviously be the best brawlers to choose to play in masters? Let's take a look at Juju, who is one of the newest brawlers that's just released and is arguably one of the best brawlers in the game right now. <laughs> she has one skin available. New brawlers are not an option for me. Let's look at Kenji, who was definitely broken and arguably the best brawler in the game. One rare skin, that's all. And if I want to get him like leveled up, I also have to buy his true gold and true silver skin, but that would only allow me to get him up to power nine. So new brawlers are just not an option for me. I have to go with long time existing brawlers that have a decent amount of skins in order for me to be able to upgrade them all the way. And even then my roster is incredibly limited. One example we have here is Griff. Griff is not well known as one of the best brawlers in the game. In fact, he wasn't played a single time in the most recent world championship, but he is my favorite brawler to play in ranked. And I want to unlock him. I want to upgrade him. I want to max him out and play him. Let's take a look at his skins. Oh yeah. Ah. In order for me to max out Griff and play him in ranked competitively, I would have to save up 5,000 bling and 35,000 coins in order for me to get him up there. Like, it's just so much harder. So while I really appreciate you guys' uh, feedback on saying that, you know, maybe some of these changes made things a little bit too easy, this is still insanely difficult and a very hard challenge. And I'm probably never, I, I don't know if I'll be able to get Griff or not. I kind of have to go based off of the RNG and see what I get from, from boxes and stuff. And then I still have to get really good because, reminder, I've never gotten Masters before. Anyway, that was a spiel. I want to talk about one other thing as well. I'm leaving Club Craig. And I am creating the Fancy Bandits. This is going to be a skin-locked club only, meaning that everybody has to be skin-locked in order to even join the account. And obviously they have to use all Mega Pig tickets and remain active in order to stay in there as well. I'm actually creating it using my wife's account. <laughs> she hasn't played in years. And then I'm going to requ request to join accept myself, promote myself, promote myself again, and uh, promote myself once more. And then Lady Kairos' account is going to leave. And now I am the leader of the club and I got around having to spend the 1000 coins to do so. <laughs> that is a gadget that I could use, you know? This, this is important. Anyway, if you guys would like to join, make sure you request to join. So here's the club tag and everything like that. I'll be checking the accounts to make sure that they are skin locked. And then we can kind of have fun being skin locked and stuff. And we'll bump up the required trophies to 200 to start. Before I do my dailies today, I just, I wanted to do one thing. This might be a little irresponsible. I know I'm going to be playing Penny for ranked. That is for sure going to happen. She's my best option in like bounty and like knockout. I think sometimes I really don't have a lot of great options. And I know that this might seem a little silly. I'm going to be getting her vision gear. This gear can be really, really strong and it is map dependent, but for Penny, being able to see enemies longer in bushes after they get hit by like a turret or something like that means that their turret's going to continue attacking enemies and enemies are going to try and hide in the bush to avoid the turret, but it's not going to work because I have this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Um, yes, it's just a thousand coins, but I think it's going to be really useful for Penny and it's also going to be useful for today's contest. So I'm going to, I'm doing it. I did it. Uh, it's too late. I already did it. Thousand coins down the drain. Very first match and it came in incredibly clutch people kept on trying to hide away from it from the bushes and it was not useful for them <laughs> i just love siege oh so much i love it so much so much so much it's so good ah oh. um yeah okay <laughs> we're just you're crushing it uh it's, it's just so fun i love it that's five straight wins gonna put us in uh, number one place mm, there was one other question that people had uh when it comes to the actual rules of this challenge brock technically comes with this skin, right? I don't actually consider this as a skin. And so, because it doesn't have like a rarity, it's just part of Brock. That's all it is. It's the exact same right here. And I do consider that a little bit different than like Barley, which is actually part of like a collection. Like this is clearly a skin color variation of this super rare skin. Whereas this is just an alternative like default skin. And the same goes with Mortis and uh, Top Hat Mortis. Where did it go? Maybe it doesn't pop up until you unlock the brawler. 
anyway, um, Mortis and Top Hat Mortis are gonna not count, and I'm also not going to allow, like, I can't buy two true silver skins, one with the Top Hat, one without the Top Hat. That's not gonna count as two separate skins. I'm gonna leave them just kinda, I'm gonna pretend that those don't exist. If you're playing Skin Locked and you did something different, that's totally fine. The whole point of this is to restrict yourself and have fun with the rules that you've restricted yourself to. Now, skin color variations? I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep those because in order for you to unlock them, you first have to actually unlock the original first, and and the chances of it happening anyway are just like incredibly small. And I'm pretty sure it only happens with like I mean, legendary skins. Uh, there there's some exceptions to that, but uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm, <laughs> this is a, a fun challenge. Before I end this episode, I am going to collect a bunch of resources here and see what kind of um, stuff I have to work with when it comes to actually upgrading my brawlers for ranked. It's going to be very interesting. I've I've never been this under leveled for reaching diamond in ranked. And also I'm used to just playing on I'm used to playing my free to play account where I actually have just a bunch of max out brawlers and tons of different options. This one's going to be interesting where I might only have one or two max out brawlers or maybe I won't even go for two max out brawlers. Maybe instead I will actually go for more options um, at power nine or something like that. That's definitely a lot of things that I could. There's so many different options that I could do. We're getting close to that next stack of credits that I could use to unlock Pam. I'm not going to do that right now, but that is intriguing, especially if her legendary skin goes on sale. I do have 100 gems to my name, so that's really an, an, something interesting. Let's go and take a look at mastery. Do I have any mastery rewards available? No, but here's where the account is at on day 22. We have 11 brawlers with skins. Any brawler that is upgraded at least once has some sort of a skin, including Frank and Bo, who are power two. And we have 25 brawlers unlocked. So we are now at the point where a majority of my brawlers unlocked actually do not have skins and gosh in this episode did I only unlock one additional new brawler since the last one so progression is slowing down a little bit that's completely fine and understandable but I was able to get Shelly up to a thousand three trophies that's really good I need to keep paying attention to the showdown map and just get her up oh gosh I just realized though I may actually get Colt leveled up Man, I just don't have great competitive options here I, I could put I could push Colt in like heist or really good heist map or something like that anyway this challenge has been a lot of fun I'm excited for the next episode when we will finally be hopping into ranked and hopefully by then I'll actually have a uh, good plan to do so. Make sure you guys subscribe for future episodes and uh, the next episode might already be here. If it's already out, check this out. Otherwise, there's like a playlist with all the episodes in this series if you missed it. Thank you so much for all your support. This has been so much fun. I really cannot wait for the future of this account, especially jumping into ranked next episode.